Across the country, states are loosening restrictions when it comes to the coronavirus, even though the federal government and the CDC continue to say that masks should still be worn inside public spaces. So how close are we to the end of this health crisis? Our Washington correspondent, Joe St. George, breaks down the numbers, the data, and why some public health experts say the country has a looming booster shot problem. Pandemic restrictions from California to New York are going away by the day. The nationwide chart of new COVID cases, which spiked over the holidays and throughout January, is leveling off. There are now fewer than 100,000 COVID-related hospitalizations for the first time in over a month. All of this good news may have you wondering if the CDC or the federal government will change their pandemic rules. How close is normal. For the moment, it appears as though the federal government will not be changing any of its guidance. Masks on airplanes are expected for a while, and some public health experts say that's a good thing because of an emerging booster problem in the U.S. It's woefully low. Dr. Eric Topol is a public health expert with the nonpartisan nonprofit Scripps Research, which focuses on data in American medicine. He says while the number of unvaccinated Americans is a continuing problem, the number of Americans who are not getting a COVID booster should be closely watched too. Around 60% of fully vaccinated Americans have chosen not to get a booster shot. Yeah, the boosting problem is a very serious issue. Dr. Topol's fear is that another variant could emerge somewhere around the world in the coming months, setting back all of this progress. And while he acknowledges being fully vaccinated still offers protection, the data shows fully vaccinated and boosted individuals are better protected. We've gotten the booster shot. While President Biden has encouraged booster shots, he has not ordered the CDC to change the definition of what it means to be fully vaccinated. Currently, the status is given if someone has received one dose from Johnson & Johnson or two doses from Pfizer or Moderna. You can be fully vaccinated but not boosted. Why? The CDC is preferring to classify boosted Americans as being, quote, up to date on their shots. Instead, a similar phrase to what's used when you get the annual flu or tetanus vaccine. It's a three-shot vaccine. It should be stipulated as that. Dr. Topol has lobbied to change that, believing all of this is confusing Americans who desperately want the pandemic to end. In Washington, I'm Joe St. George.